Just showing the the inside. I I got rid of that uh, Czechoslovakian poncho. No go. No go. Had condensation on my bag. Second time I got up going to the bathroom, and uh, so that that does not work out. Don't even bother with it. It won't even be good as a poncho because you get all wet inside too. But uh, your shelter half is good. Everything else is pretty good except for the little mishap we had last night there. I was gonna light the stove again, but no, I said no. But I'm gonna light a stove uh, using that uh, little heater right now. Got some coffee. Got my wood. What I did is I had that cup full of water, had my billy cup full of water, I put out that fire pretty quick. I kept relatively calm, I was surprised, but uh, this bag was warm as toast. Um, yeah, pretty good. Not a lot of, not a lot of head space, but uh, yeah, one thing good about this stove is uh, once you shut it all the way, that's it. Uh, there, there's some air holes in there, but this went for two hours after I had it go out. And it burned slow, the coals. So, but, uh, yeah. Um, Got to be more careful with the pipes, you know. But you'll see in the video when it was in the snow, it, was it, it worked great. But, uh, yeah, it got too hot. I knew it was hot in here. I couldn't want beer back in here. But, uh, yeah, then it got cold. So, I'll get back to you. Try this out. Damn! That's cool, huh? Almost had a massacre here. Blew the canteen right off of there. Almost had a daggone massacre. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's heating up all right. But, uh... Now that's with the that's with the heater on, and uh, she lit up pretty good. Now that 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 was cold all all night. That canister it's supposed to work good in the uh, cold weather. That jet boil in there, a uh, little extra propane in it. As you can see, it went pretty good. More fire here, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. But uh, I'll let it go for a while. I'll get back to you. I have a cup of coffee. I got some Irish soda bread here. But uh, I'm going to be all right, man. Kind of make do. Hey, uh, these are the mittens I wore last night. I was all bundled up. Bundled up it was uh, quite nice. But uh, yeah, the can fuel canister works uh, quite good. It was out in the cold all night, but uh, I'll get back to you, man. And my coffee's ready, guys. Um, and a couple in there. The heater works good, but I, but I noticed that down in the bottom on the on the canister, kind of kind of feels warm. Feels hot. Not crazy about that. Directs the heat down. Heats the place up beautiful. Don't recommend it. I mean, just for coffee. I don't. I don't like the way it directs the heat down. So if you have like a D power or a uh, a simber stove, I, well, you don't need. Well, you can put it on a simber stove too. But uh, I'd be careful with that. I'd use a remote. Remote line for the canister, say like over here, you know, the line running in, safer to use that because uh, that's getting hot. So, and I got my my Irish soda bread and uh, stuff's ready, man. I'm gonna turn that down. 
and uh, I'll be back. I'm going to turn that off now. It really heats up good if you had to heat something up quick. Um, first time I used it as a heater, and I played with it and tested it, but uh, yeah, not too bad. So I'm going to have my coffee now. So after action report, oh, sleeping bag, great. Czechoslovakian poncho, not too good. Total no-go. It's a piece of whatever. Czechoslovakian cold weather pants used many, many times. The design is perfect, especially for the mechanics of nature. And uh, Swiss Army is fine. Top I always wear, wear uh, merino wool. I'll put that in the description equipment I used. But, uh, yeah, guys. Got the old soda bread here. Made just sold bread. Made eight loaves so far. But, uh, hmm. Pretty good. So, I want to show you something real quick. Dave Canterbury would be proud of me. Look at that. It's got all the charcoal off I got. That's from our Poncho Massacre. Look at that char cloth. I'm going to save it. Why not? Very special. Russian char cloth. Produced. During joint maneuvers. Not bad. Not bad, man. Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad I didn't start the stove up again. Uh, I got snow. We have a snowstorm coming in tonight. Uh, another nor'easter. New England, never know the weather. Ah, oh boy, that tastes good. But yeah, that little heater thing there, not touching it. Works good, seems to throw a lot of heat. Warm you up quick in a shelter like this. Um, I think I'd like to just sleep in a shelter maybe without a stove. Just cooking, you got a lot more room. Um, like it without the heater. Good bag. Um, we're fine, man. Uh, you know. The Swiss Army hats. Bought a bunch of them, like 10 of them or 20 of them. They're fantastic. The flaps come down over your ears. You see me in other videos. This Belgian field jacket, 1982. Top of the line. With all the pouches and things in there. You can carry all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's warm even without the liner. I put some U.S. liners in. Or you can wear sweaters, whatever you want. But, yeah, that's about it. I did show you the problems we had, but we got a little charcoal out of it. Nice night out here. Um, I will salvage as much as I could of that. Lavu, Russian Lavu half. It's a Russian cavalry poncho, and I think they're great, and the shelter's great. My son has the other half, but uh, that's messed up there. I have enough tonnage, but uh, I will salvage it. Still be able to use uh, some of it, you know. So, see what we'll do. So, uh, hey. Mm. Not St. Patrick's Day yet, but it's coming this weekend. I'm going to take all the stuff down today. It's nice and dry right now. In fact, you saw how dry it was. You made charcoal out of it. Damn. But, uh, yeah, we'll be good, man. Steve made a comment. I think he's, I think he's from Belgium. Commented on one of his... Uh, Lean to, lean to uh, shelter halves or ponchos he had there. Pretty good. Yeah, I, I like that setup. A little, little more room to move around, but I have a lot to work with here. The U.S. Uh, 
shelter halves I got, you'll, you'll see in the video, I, I, the 1945 on it. Now I've used modern and older shelter halves and ponchos in the military, but this one I found like a couple blocks away, someone was throwing it out, and uh, it's fine. That's on parts of it, and I'm, I'm laying on it, plus uh, parts of it, so, but it'll be good. And I have bivy bags, military bivy bags, one in my wife's car, an emergency, and uh, one on a military uh, sleeping bag, so we're good. So, Quinn the Eskimo, I'm going to finish my coffee, my soda bread. Mmm. It's just nice, you know. Listen to the birds, trains, construction on the highway a couple miles away, you can hear them working. There you go, man. Joint voices, poncho, shelter half, maneuvers. Under fire. I was under fire. Uh, stayed calm. Thank God everything's good. I was away. I mean, this this stove was like, well, you'll see in the video, it was, it was cranking. But uh, put it out quick. Have water ready. Have a good system on your stove. Um, I hot tent often have bigger tents and stuff, but uh, I have proper jacks in there. Some I made and, and some I put in, but, uh, you know, it's the way it goes. So, hey, take it easy, man.